Good evening guys, another video here. I thought I'd make you a, a quick tutorial video uh, showing you the three best ways to draw a freehand circle. Uh, it's a skill that every artist needs to learn. Uh, I don't like using a compass. Uh, you can actually get some um, different pieces of equipment from art shops which will have different size circles in, but I think it's a really nice uh, skill to be able to do uh, and also very good for practicing uh, those swooping sort of actions that every artist needs. So I'm going to show you my top three uh, tips on how to draw a circle. Um, first one, what we're going to do is we're going to loosely start to circle from the shoulder and we're going to gradually, as we start to see that circle emerge in our mind's eye and also on the paper, we're just going to start just touching the paper. We're not making definite marks, but we're just still going from the shoulder. And what we're going to do is we're going to find that there are lots of marks on this page, this piece of paper. But from that, you can start to see that we are getting something that resembles a pretty accurate circle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to follow the best line that I can see on the page and I'm using a pulling action towards me so I'm always pulling towards me. Turn the paper a little. I'm using the HB pencil here. Um, if I was going to do this on a, a piece of work that I was going to go to completion, I'd probably start with something much softer, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm, uh, I'm using a HB pencil. I hope that you can see it. So I've got that loose circular form, uh, which I was, again, when I said I was drawing from my shoulder, a uh, big mistake a lot of artists make or, or people starting out when they're drawing is they try and draw too much from the fingertips or the wrist. Uh, if we can get a nice loose circular motion from the shoulder, uh, it really helps with the flow. Uh, so what I'm doing now is I'm just going to tidy up. Just using my everyday eraser. There's nothing spectacular about this at all. It, I think it cost me 59 pence from the local art shop. Just tidying up any loose edges. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna brush away a few edges over here that need tidying up. But I think you can see already that we're not too far off. Uh, quite an accurate circle. Like anything, this does take some practice, so um, don't give up if you've tried one or two and it's not quite worked. Just tidy up some of the areas that I've knocked off with the eraser. We're not too far off there. I think you can get the general gist, the general idea of, of, of where we're going with this. So that is my first tip. Loose circling, not touching the paper to start with, then gradually as I'm working around, just starting to touch the paper and then I'm filling in the line that I see that fits the best going over it and erasing any lines. So that's my first tip. Okay, so freehand uh, circle drawing technique number two. Um, what I'm gonna do is holding my pencil in a, a normal fashion, um, I'm going to anchor down to the page this knuckle at the end of my little finger. So keeping a really tight, firm hold of the page under that, making sure that my wrist and my forearm isn't touching the page. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start to move the paper underneath my hand keeping that knuckle pressed firmly down this is slightly larger than the paper that I've got so we slightly come off the edge there 
but I think you can see from what I've just drawn there that we've got a fairly accurate circular representation of a circle there. If I wanted to make a slightly smaller one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to anchor one of these fingers down, coming slightly uh, down onto the page. But again, I'm just going to circle the paper underneath. go in either direction but again with a few touch-ups you can see that we've got a relatively accurate circle there so larger circle smaller circle comes in really really handy um, something that I like to use particularly because I'm not going to have the, the dimple or the pin mark from the end of a compass really really good technique give it some practice it takes a little bit of a while uh, to get used to to moving the paper underneath your hand while still keeping it um, on a pivot point there uh, usually working on a smoother surface will help but give it a try it's a, it's a really quick method and once you get the hang of it you'll be able to start producing very very accurate circles okay on to tip number three then so uh, this is probably the one that I use the most um, and, it, and it actually takes in um, some of the ideas from uh, the previous two um, so what I'm going to do is placing my hand onto the page onto the paper I'm going to make sure that I've got a pivot point and again it's either going to be my wrist or it's going to be my uh, bone on the end of my little finger and what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to start getting used to this swooping action I'm going to be pulling the pencil towards myself and um, although uh, it probably looks on the video as though my pencil is making a streak forwards and backwards on the page what I'm doing is I'm just coming in towards myself so I'm getting this just starting to graze the page and I'm going to just start to move the paper just underneath so that I'm always pulling towards me and I've got my most accurate arc making sure that I'm not moving where I'm holding my pencil so I'm holding the pencil in the same place the whole time that adjustment if I edge up towards the the point of the pencil or towards the end will affect the outcome considerably so making sure that I'm, I'm always pulling towards me and I'm just going to close this off here so now I've got that rough um, that rough shape what I'm going to do is like on the first technique I'm going to find the lines that are almost the line of best fit and I'm going to go over this again I'm using an HB pencil here and probably pressing on uh, harder than I would do if this was going to be on an actual um, piece that I was drawing but just for the purpose of the video I'm actually going to go slightly darker so that you can see this but again you can you can start to see that I've got something that resembles a fairly accurate circle with I suppose with everything with your your art or your drawing practice makes perfect um, I'm going to come in with the eraser again normal eraser get in a nice sharp edge um, I've actually got a mono zero eraser here which is clickable um, it's like one of the mechanical pencils but it's got a very fine tip on there so again if I wanted to use that uh, just to come in and clean up some of these edges just to define the line that I really want to make the circle edge I can use this and give that a brush So that's my uh, third tip. This is probably my favourite one. It's the most, uh, it's the one that I sort of tend to rely on the most. I, I feel personally that I can um, make some smaller circles using this technique. So I'm not limited to one anchor point like on the second, uh, the second example. Uh, either an anchor point from my little finger knuckle or any other finger that I was going to use. Um, 
as long as I'm holding the pencil in the same position and I'm practicing this swooping action, this slight arced action, I can get something that again resembles quite an accurate circle. It's not bang in the centre. But again, you can see from just a very, very quick, what's that taking me? 30 seconds, 40 seconds. I'm starting to get quite an accurate circle. I'm gonna knock off the edges again. Probably use the mono zero for that. Come into this. So there you go, that's um that's my three tips for drawing freehand circles accurately. I hope that helped. Like anything, make sure you practice. Um practice doesn't make perfect, but it definitely makes better. Um, give it a go. Leave me a, a comment in the uh, comment section below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you are uh, interested in art videos, tutorials. Let me know uh, if there's something that you'd like me to cover. Um, but once again, thank you for your support. I hope you are tuning in for my next video.